Okay, so some things I'd say I'm proud of this week are they seem to have fun with pretty much everything that we had planned and they enjoyed the books that we read. Um, and then this doesn't really have to do with my teaching, but I found a book in Spanish the other day that I'm really excited to read, at least with Layla. All right, um, something that I'm proud of I also said the games, I think the board game we did today with the uh, words that they were reading, I think they were pretty engaged. They mm -hmm. seemed to like it. Mm -hmm. And challenged. Oh, yep. Yeah, um, especially Layla, she, there were some words that mm -hmm. she didn't know, so she was able to break them down, decode them, and yeah, she was able to read them. Um, how well did they meet objectives? I think they met objectives very well, like... They, at the very least, were trying their best mm -hmm. to read multisyllabic words and then words with vowel teams, um, but I'd say they're both pretty good at it, honestly. Like, it's just like the big unfamiliar words that we're just trying to learn how to decode, really. Yeah. I, I also said the same. Um, one of our objectives was students will be able to read and spell words that contain vowel diagraphs. Um, so we had them practice these words and they did pretty well, especially with like some of the words that they struggled with. They were able to decode them, the words, and read them. Just, yeah. Henry. Um, what worked? Um, I noticed today that the strategies we were teaching them to help them break words up into syllables um, they were using these while sounding words out, um, and I honestly imagine they'll use them again, so I kind of liked that. Yeah, I said during the word sort, um, I would say that work, they did well with sounding out the syllables, um, <laughs> I don't think they had ever heard of, like, putting mm -mm. your hand under your, under your chin, and I saw Layla doing that. Um, also clapping, they were doing that pretty well to help them read the words. Um, for what didn't work, I honestly didn't have much to add because I thought they liked everything, so I don't yeah. know. I, didn't, I just didn't know. <laughs> I just said um, the vowel teams, Una, that we did in the first day, I feel like adding more words and also making sure that the cards are like they're different colors like there are some oh. colors mm -hmm. that were the same so they were getting confused and towards the end they did say it was a little boring but I feel like it, it was because it was too repetitive and yeah yeah it was just moving a little slow I yeah <laughs> um next week I'd say the goal is still to focus on like words with multiple syllables mm -hmm. and like the vowel teams um and then I know that with Layla, we're working toward being able to do words our way list two and then moving up a reading level. So. Yeah, I said the same thing. I think working on what we have been working on this week, um, finding different activities for them. I want to work with uh, Paris um, on the, her words their way as well. Um, She's at a level 38, but I think I want her to read a level 40 for next time. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping to move up like from a 28 to a 30 as mm -hmm. well. And then there's a question about how we use feedback to decide like how we use feedback. Um, I said that I use the feedback on lessons to decide like what what strategies I should use again and then which ones just don't really meet the mark. And then my goals are just to feel more confident about planning like interactive lessons and activities that are challenging. I think making things challenging is a struggle. Yeah, um, my goals would be, well, no, sorry, my feedback, I, I read the feedback that is on our, um, what, Mrs. Harris puts on her, the document. I also see like what we did well, what she thinks we did well. So um, I like implementing that into our lessons and what goals I have for myself. I think finding activities uh, that also challenge them as well. 
Um, yeah, I would say that's it.